Many DC parents are upset about school closures planned for next school year. One group of parents is now organizing and plans to put up a fight. Their children attend the Francis Stevens Education Campus in Northwest Washington. And tonight, they are holding an emergency meeting. Suzanne Kennedy is at the school now on N Street. She's got the details. Suzanne. Well, Leon, the parents will meet here in just about an hour and a half to try and devise a strategy to try and keep this school open. This is a situation facing so many families across the district as the school system prepares to close nearly two dozen schools. This could be the last academic year for Northwest Washington's Francis Stevens Education Campus. It's one of 20 schools slated for possible closure in the district, but parents aren't giving up yet. They say closing this facility would be a mistake. School's on the rise. There's been a baby boom in Ward 2. There's lots of construction. Um, we feel that uh, there's more than ample opportunity uh, for the school to grow. This school is tucked away in the foggy bottom neighborhood. It's where Amy Carter went to school when her father was president in the 1970s. As an out of bounds parent, Chris Sondrial chose to send his son here. They pulled such a great program together and now they want to dismantle it. It makes you wonder if you want to stay in public schools. It makes you wonder who you can really trust to you know, give your kid a good education. The school system says Francis Stevens is under enrolled with 225 students in 11 grades. Just 55% of the building is being used. When the list of schools slated for closure was released, the chancellor knew the move would not be without controversy. These decisions are difficult. They mean transition for about 3,000 of our students and families, and we are going to do everything possible to ensure that that transition goes smoothly. If this school is closed, the students that attend it will go to Hardy Middle School and Marie Reed Elementary School. The situation right now is that the D.C. public school system is finalizing its list. It's expected to release it in January. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.